I'm excited at what God will do this morning. Please open to the book of Mark chapter 5. Book of Mark chapter 5. I will read from verse 1. Follow me. I'm reading from New King James Fashion. Then they came to the other side of the sea, to the country of the Gadarene. And when he had come out of the boat, immediately they met him out of the tomb, a man with an unclean spirit, who had his dwelling among the tombs. And no one could bind him, not even with chains, because he had often been bound with shackles and chain, and the chain had been pulled apart by him. And the shackles broke, broken in pieces, neither could anyone tame him. And always night and day he was in the mountain and in the tombs, crying out and cutting himself with stones. Then he saw Jesus from afar, he ran and worshipped him, and he cried out with a loud voice and said, what have I to do with you, Jesus, son of the most high God? I implore you by God that you do not torment me. For he had said to him, come out of the man unclean spirit. Then he asked him, what is your name? And he answered saying, my name is Legion, for we are many. Also he begged him earnestly that he would not send him out of the country. Now a large herd of swine was feeding there near the mountain. So all the demons begged him, saying, Send us to the swine that we may enter them. And at once Jesus gave them permission. Then the unclean spirit went out and entered the swine. There was about 2,000. And the herd ran violently down the steep, Place into the sea and drown in the sea. So those who fed the swine fled. They told, they told, and they told it in the city and in the country. And they went out to see what it was that had happened. Then they came to Jesus and saw the one who had been demon possessed and had the legion sitting and clothed and in his right mind. And they were afraid. And those who saw it told them how it happened to him, who had been demon possessed, and about the swine. Then they began to plead with him to depart from their region. Spirit of the living God, we ask that you take over, and your name alone will be glorified. You are the one who has the reason why you want us to talk about this. Perform manifold miracles. And your name will be glorified. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Christ, in this particular passage of the scripture, I'm going to talk about, there are many, many characters in this story. But I'm going to pick only four. I'm going to pick the tormentor, I'm going to pick the tormented, I'm going to pick the deliverer, and I'm going to pick those that will carry what is not their own. Look at me, church. Let me start with the tormented. Now, the story opened with a very sad incident. About the man, a man. Who is that man? The Bible did not tell us his name. You know why? Because his problem has swallowed his name. His circumstances has swallowed his name. Now, he no longer has an identity. His circumstances become his identity. Can I pray for you today? Can I pray for you today? Can I pray for you this morning? I decree and declare concerning you, your concerning you, every affliction the devil wants to use to swallow your name, it will miss your house. Somebody's not, I say it will miss your house. Oh my God, I say it will miss your house. 
Now this man, this man, this man, I don't know when the problem started. But you know what? Everything that has a beginning definitely has an end. Every problem you are having now has an expiry date. And today is the expiry date. I said today is the expiry date. Now, the Bible did not say the time when this problem started. Maybe he just discovered, maybe he hurt in the dream. Maybe. Maybe he had a dream and he saw something entered into him. Maybe. Maybe he went to a place where he should not go. Maybe. The Bible did not say how he started. But you know what? He is the alpha. So there is no beginning without him. There is nothing that starts that is not aware of. There is no circumstances that began. In fact, let me tell you, he has begun before the beginning began. And so there is no beginning that can ever happen without God's knowledge. Sometimes he permits. Sometimes he brings out his glory. Sometimes he allows. But let me tell you, let me tell you, let me pray for you this morning. You will not be an example of God's permission for devil's torment. They're not here. They're not hearing me. I say you, your children, your career, your life, everything concerning you will not play into the hand of the enemy to torment. <laughs> They're not hearing me. They're not hearing me. See, if there is a lineage, a problem, that is passing through generation with you. I'm saying you, you, you. I'm saying concerning you, they will have no effect. They are not hearing me. I said they will have no effect. I decree and declare they will not affect or affect you in the name of Jesus. The man just discovered that one day he lost his mind. Of course, his friend left. Probably was married, his wife left. Probably he has a job, they sack him from job. He lost everything. But at that time, he was living with men. He was living in the city. And then he became a big problem. They discovered that he was losing his mind. They discovered he was violent. And so they both changed. The harm of men will fail. And so they both change by themselves. And then they, they carry hefty men. Bind this man. Can I pray for you under the unction of the Holy Spirit today? Every chain they are bought to bind you. I break them in the name of Jesus. Say, so bind this man. You are not a candidate of chain. I say you are not a candidate of shackles. You are not a candidate of chain. Nothing will tie you down. Sickness will not tie you down. Poverty will not tie you down. Curses will not tie you down. In the name of Jesus. Man, the man lost his mind. And so they chained him. Healthy man. Perfect, perfect chain. Men and brethren, he shook them off. He shook them off. Not him. The demons that were inside of him. But do you know what? There is going to be a day that a man will wake up and everything that has been following him, there will be a divine separation. May you not miss your day of visitation. The day God will turn your life around, may you not be found wanting. Like every other day, the demons were manifesting in his life, broke the chain, caught himself, stay in the tomb. Men and brethren, men and brethren, let me introduce you again to the tormentor. They are demons, they are foul spirits. They have no part, they have no part in light. They are agents of darkness. But do you know what? They have authority and power to torment for a season. The tormentor. 
There were angels that were cast away because of their rebellion. And then they have no power again. But they still operate in darkness. Men and brethren, they look for who to inhabit. They saw this man. I don't know, maybe he, they entered in when he had what he was not supposed to eat. Maybe he had an affair with a demon possessed girl. I don't know. And transferred the demons into her. Because it happens. It happens. They torment her. But you know what? All power. I say all power. I say all power. I say all the power. I say all power. Let me not waste time on the tormentor. There were foul spirits. I remember a story a pastor told us. A pastor told us a story. The woman had a child. Maybe I've said it before. Yeah, let me say it again. It came to my mind now. The woman had a child, a boy. And the boy was looking for a wife. And so he saw a beautiful young lady. Loved her. And decided to marry her. And the mother-in-law says, you choose wrongly. You choose wrongly. I have no support. You are not going to marry this girl. I said, I love her. She's a child of God. I will marry her. The man said, okay. If the two of you decide to marry, as long as I live, you will marry you, but you will not have any children. The mother-in-law said that. And you know what? He gave the demons permission. He gave the demon authority to block the womb, so to say, of the woman. And so the woman had no child. First year, second year, third year, fourth year, fifth year, sixth year, seventh year, eighth year, ninth year, tenth year. And then they won FISA lottery. And when they won FISA lottery, they moved to the U.S. 15th years, no child. 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th, 20 years, no, no child. Then one day, somebody say one day. Somebody say one day. Somebody say one day. The husband, they were to celebrate their marriage anniversary. And the woman loved fish. Fish. She's like me. I love fish. Especially grilled peppered fish. I love it. I love it. Sometimes I will tell my wife, say, go buy fish for me. Grill it. Hot pepper. And then give me a chilled bottle of wine. Or juice. And that will be the only food I will eat. Hallelujah. As I be able to chop life, I have money. Hallelujah. The woman also likes fish. So the husband went to the place where they're buying fish. He saw a very big fish. His eye got attracted to the fish. So he went there, priced the fish. The people that are selling the fish uh, called the amount. The man checked his pocket. He doesn't have enough to buy the fish. So he turned out. And somebody told him, he said, go and use your card. Use your card to buy the fish. The man said, I have a policy, I have a principle. I don't use credit cards to buy anything. He left. He turned back. Something told him again, go back and buy that fish. He had already entered his car. He wants to go. Something told him again, he said, go back and buy that fish. The man went back and went to the fish, gave them his credit card, collected the fish, they packaged it for him, he took it home. When he got home, he dropped it in the kitchen. The wife saw the fish. Hey, honey, sweetie, I love fun. So the woman came, saw the fish, carried knife, and wanted to remove the deaths inside the fish. And so when he removed it, he saw a nylon with thread and something inside the fish. So she shouted, come the husband, honey, 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 come, 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 honey, come. What have I seen? So when they saw it, the husband also was afraid. When they saw the nylon and everything inside, 
They called their pastor. They called their pastor. When they called their pastor, the pastor came. They prayed. And lo and behold, they opened the nylon and they saw the name of the woman. They saw the name of the husband inside the belly of the fish. The pastor prayed. He said, what is your story? He said, mama said we will not have children. He said, don't tell anyone. Don't tell anyone yet. Quickly, you and your wife. And the man, bam, the woman became pregnant. Had a first child. He said, don't tell anyone. Don't call home. Second time, he, bam, he had another child. Third time, bam, he has a, So, she has three children. Brethren. Brethren. They call mama. I said, Mama, we are coming home. He said, we are coming home. He said, oh, you and your wife. He said, no, me, my wife, and three children. He said, it is not possible. He said, it cannot happen. He said, Mama, we are coming home. We are coming home with three children. Men and brethren, they flee home came to the house and mama saw them. Mama said, how did it happen? He said, mama said, I wrote your name. I binded it and the DPR told me to go to the river and throw it into the river. Except your eyes saw that nylon and name. You will not have children in the land of the living. Brethren, God commanded the fish. Somebody is not hearing me. God commanded the fish. The fish swallowed the name from Nigeria, Lagos. Swam many continents. Past all of Africa. Past all of Europe. Went to North America. Men and brethren, God commanded the feet to be caught in the city of the man. God directed the fish to be there where the man will want to buy the fish. Somebody is not hearing me. Somebody is not hearing me. And the man saw the fish, bought the fish, and that was their deliverance. Can I pray for you this morning? Can I pray for you this morning? Le maka sanda la baba. Re maka sende lebo. Re maka sanda la baba. Hey. 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 Spirit of the living God. Spirit of the living God. Le maka sende le bra maka sende ye. Le makaka sanda la baba, re maka sanda la baba, le bo sekente le baba. Hey, hear me, hear me again. Your day of torments are over. Your day of torments are over. The Lord will command your fish. The Lord will command the man to buy it. The Lord will command you to be at the right place at the right time. I decree and declare to you, every plan and effect of the enemy over your life, I destroy in the name of Jesus. Lema sandalaba. Lema kaka sandalaba raka sekendelebo. Re mama sandalaba baba. Le ke ba sandalaba. Re mama mama sandelebo. Hey. 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 The man, Jesus, he saw the man. Look at it. Listen to me. Listen to me. The battle is about to change hands. Then the tormentor spoke out of the man. And the tormentor spoke to Jesus. Do not torment us. 
What happened to the one you have been tormenting? Say, don't torment us. He said, no, no, no. The torment you have given the man, the battery is changing hand. And say, he said, please, 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 don't cast us out. He said, no. You are in the wrong place. You are in the wrong life. You are in the wrong place. You are in the wrong life. You are in the wrong place. Men and brethren, he said, no, this life, this life is not for causes and covenant. This life is not for poverty and lack. This life is not for badness. Get out! Get out! Somebody say, get out! Somebody say, get, get out! Somebody say, get, get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Of course they obeyed. Can I pray for you again? Can I pray for you under this unction of the Most High? Can I pray for you under the authority of the Most High God? Everything that is working against your life, get out! I said again, get out! I said again, get out! Men and brethren, they left. I can see them coming out of your life, going out, going out, going out, going out, going out, going out. They left. And one came to his senses. And everything he lost, he regained. The deliverer is here. Please come to the altar. Leka Baba Sande Lebo. Leka Baba Sande Lebo. Rika Baba Sande Lebra Maka Second Day. Lima Sandalaba. Rema Sande Lebra Ba. Laka Baba Sande Lebo. Leka Baba Sande Le. Leka Baba Sande Lebra Maka Second Day. Le Maka Sakantaya. Lebrama, open your mouth and begin to pray. You are coming out, you are coming out of chains and shackles. You are coming out of every activities of the enemy. You are coming out. Lema Sandalaba. Rema Kakaka Sandalaba. Rema Kasendelebo. Reke Baba. Rama Sandalaba. Rekebo second telebo. Rema kaka sandalababa. Rebra baba waka second telebo. Every torment you have suffered. Everyone that is tormenting your life, tormenting your career, tormenting your children. Batu is changing hand this morning. Lekaba sandelebo. Rema kaka sandalaba. Rema sandelebo, rekebo. Pray, 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 pray. The tormentor is, tormentor is getting tormented. Curses and covenant are being lifted. Out of shackles are chained. I heard God clearly. I heard Him tell me, tell my people. Everything that is working as a barrier against your life. Pray, 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 pray. Open your mouth this morning. Every delay, every delay, every delay, every delay. Every delay, every delay, every delay. Every delay, every delay. La Cassandra Laba. Hey. La Massandra Laba. Rema Cassandra Lebra Baba Cassandra. Le Massandra Labra Baba. Le ma sanda la bra ba ka sekete ye. Le ma sanda la bra ba ba ba. Le bra ba ka sekete le bra ma ka sende ye. Le ka ba 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 sanda la bra ba ka sekete ye. 
Le mo se can tell the bra baba casa cante e. Hey, Spirit of the Living God, Spirit of the Living God, hey. Lema Sanda Labra Baka second day. Lema Sanda Lababa. Lema Cassanda Lababa. Lema Sanda Labra Baka second day. Hey, 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 In Jesus, in Jesus' name, we have prayed. God just opened my eyes right now. And I saw, it's a young lady I saw, but it's applicable to anyone. There is a kind of a golden object in front of her very gold, very beautiful. And she was trying to stretch forth her hand to carry it. But there is a chain that puts her two hands at the back. And as we are praying, I saw the chain fell off. And I saw her stretch forth her hands to that object and carry it. And carry it. And as she carried it and placed it on her head, I saw her clothes changed. <sighs> I saw the clothes changed. And the rag fell off. And a new set of clothes came upon her. I want to decree for somebody here today. I feel a special unction in my heart, in my life right now. And I stretch forth my heart concerning you. Hey! Hey! I stretch forth my hand concerning you. Clothed that is not yours, that they are placed on your life in the realm of the spirit. I decree and declare, let them fall off right now. Right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. Everything you have been stretching forth your hand. And the chain is binding you from reaching. I decree and declare that chain is broken now. He's broken. 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 He's falling off. God is clothing you, clothing your destiny, clothing your life with glory. So shall it be. So shall it be. So shall it be. I said, then, so shall it be. That story concluded. 
with the man clothed, sitting at the feet of Jesus. And Jesus says, go and tell them the great thing God has done for you. Go and tell them. The Lord will fill your mouth with testimony. The Lord will fill your mouth with testimony. The Lord will fill your mouth with testimony. They will see the great things God has done for you. In the name of God the Father. In the name of God the Son. In the name of God the Holy Ghost. Amen.